Chronic pain is a major public health epidemic, debilitating more than 10% of adults. While some patients are responsive to commonly used analgesics, many are resistant to treatment. The P2X7 receptor is an emerging target for treating refractory pain, as its chronic activation underlies this pathology. The P2X7 receptor, predominantly expressed in immune cells of the blood and the brain, is a trimeric cation channel activated by extracellular adenosine triphosphate, ATP. Although it belongs to the P2X receptor family, the P2X7 receptor harbors many characteristics distinct from the other P2X receptors. For example, it requires an unusually high concentration of ATP for initial activation. Its channel activity is facilitated by prolonged or repeated ATP applications, and it opens a membrane pore large enough for molecules up to 900 Dalton to permeate. Many questions continue to exist regarding this enigmatic receptor. How do structurally unrelated drugs antagonize only the P2X7 receptor but not the other P2X subtypes? Do they target an activation mechanism unique to the P2X7 subtype? To answer these questions, we determined the first crystal structures of a mammalian P2X7 receptor with and without five structurally unrelated antagonists. To our surprise, all antagonists bind in the same pocket formed between neighboring subunits, which is juxtaposed with the ATP binding pocket. This novel drug binding pocket is surrounded by 13 residues projecting mainly from beta strands in the upper body domains of the neighboring subunits. Using shield regression analysis, curve fitting with known models of competitive and non-competitive inhibition, ligand binding assays, and the crystal structures of P2X7 obtained in the presence of both an agonist and an antagonist, we demonstrated that all five tested drugs are allosteric and non-competitive inhibitors. Based on these data, we propose that the five studied drugs antagonize the P2X7 receptor through a common mechanism and that the unique intersubunit cavity may be a critical locus for functional regulation. Indeed, our electrophysiological studies demonstrated that P2X7 receptors undergo unique conformational rearrangements, where both the drug binding pocket and the turret in the P2X7 receptor narrow upon ATP binding. Because such conformational changes are required for channel opening, binding of the P2X7 antagonists preclude these constrictions, thereby efficiently blocking receptor activation. These novel mechanistic insights presented in this paper will facilitate the development of P2X7-specific drugs for treating human diseases as refractory chronic pain.